Hi, 4L. So for this assignment, I want you to copy and paste your grateful essay into our classroom collaborative grateful book. And this is how you're going to do it. First, you are going to click here for the link. That will open you up to a new page. It might ask you to sign up or to join um, Story Jumper. So you just might need to give a little bit of patience um, while you get your book loaded. So look for 4LA1 Grateful Book. Click on that. It'll take you to here. And you're going to see that there are already some pages that are complete. You need to click the edit button. Once you're in here, you're going to have to look for an empty page. You might have to slide over until you get all the way to the end. Okay, so once I'm at the end, I know that other people's were here. Um, I might have to add some pages. So I'm going to click add a page, add a page. And I'm going to start my essay with a text box, a big text box. And I'm going to put Mrs. Lucas's Grateful Essay. Okay, And I can decorate it any way I want. I can move it to the middle. I can change the colors and the font size if I want to make it much bigger. Maybe I'm going to make it orange. And then I'm going to click the next page. So now I need to copy and paste my essay into here. So I'm going to add another big text box. You can choose any other um, types of text boxes that you want. And you can also add prop scenes and photos. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I might have to expand my page out just a little bit. So I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to Google Draw, well, Google Slides. Once I go to Google Slides, I'm going to look for my grateful essay. Hmm. So I have lots of grateful essays here. So I'm going to put, forget what my essay's title. Do, 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 do. There I am. Okay. So I'm going to click on my grateful essay. It should open up. And I'm going to go look for my introduction first. And I'm going to make sure I follow each slide. Right. So here's my introduction. I'm going to click on the text box and I'm going to highlight what I would like to copy. If I come up to File, Edit, Copy, so it just copied it. Now I got to click back onto the book and then I can go File, Edit, Paste. And it's right here. I could do that again if I hit Enter, go back into my Grateful Essay. Now I need to go to Body Paragraph Number One, click on the text box. Highlight, edit, copy, go back to the book, and I can paste it in. Oh, I noticed that my page isn't big enough. Okay, good. Once I spread it out, it's okay. Now I might want to add like a prop, like, um, hmm, I might put the word friend, see what pops up. Yeah, maybe I want to use that. So now I can add a little prop in as if this is me and my friend. Or I could upload a photo like I did, and I can click that one in instead. I'm going to delete this one. See how there's a little box. And this is me and my friend. This is my favorite person. So I might just keep this page like this. And I might even add a little text box that says, make this a lot smaller, move my picture down. You just have to kind of play around. Renee and... So you can really do whatever you want for this collaborative book. And look, I still need another page, so I'm going to hit Add Page, and it will take me to the next one. So all my stuff is here. I just have to keep on adding. The choice is yours on what you would like to do to add scenes and props. Scenes are actually pretty fun. If I want to add like a background to like a bedroom, I could type right on top of it. I can add my text box and type right over top of it if this if now I was going to talk about my home. It's really up to you what you want to do. When you finish, you want to hit save and exit. Okay? So all of the directions are here for you. Um, I hope that you enjoy creating a collaborative book together. Make sure to go back and read some of your classmates' work too. All right? Thanks, guys.